What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you all are having a great Friday afternoon, and a few hours from now, at 9 o'clock Eastern, we'll be doing our live stream where we'll go into more detail about this as we get ready to play the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, I was just having a conversation with my buddy DMV, and um, he's like, I'm sick of this shit. And he was telling me, check out John Machota's tweets. I've been working busy in the workshop and doing a bunch of things and all that. So I haven't been keeping up with everything the way um, I usually do. In some regards, it's kind of like it actually felt good not to get into all of the drama that is the Dallas Cowboys because, you know, I, I, I'm beginning to feel like. I am literally sick of listening to Jerry and Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones saying, you know, we, we spend all the money to the cap and stuff. Yeah, to the current cap situation, true. You, you have, you know, you, you're down to about $10 million. But see, what we're, you're only getting part of the picture when you're getting told these things. Because most teams understand that the salary cap is literally going to explode. You know, Thursday night football, which used to be the redheaded stepchild for the NFL, Amazon's paying the NFL $1 billion for just that Thursday night package. Um, Google and uh, Apple, two companies that are worth close to a trillion dollars, are fighting it out for the Sunday ticket for next year. The new money from the CBA hasn't even started hitting the NFL books until next year. And that's why teams are going out there right now and signing these absorbent contracts to guys. Because they look at it and say, once that new money hits, then it's going to be the wild, wild west. And they're making these contracts where they're very friendly early and balloon up later because they know that the money is going to be there. So that's some bullshit that we are sitting here being fed by Stephen Jones. Um, when you think that New Orleans was like $75 million in the hole, but yet they went out and got their cap situation taken care of and brought in more players. We were only $25 million in the hole, and here it is. We didn't. We dumped salaries. And now we're beginning to get the, the finger-pointing game. So we've got Mike McCarthy saying that, you know, this week, you know, we're, we're, we're going – into uh, this week where he's being there more with Kellen Moore. See, the Cowboys are no Boy Scouts. Jerry Jones is definitely not a Boy Scout because I was a Boy Scout. And the Boy Scouts, they teach you to be prepared. That means be ready for when shit happens. The Cowboys are never ready for when shit happens. They're always in reactor, reactor, or, well, react mode. You, me, and everybody out there knew that Tyron Smith was probably going to go out. There is no way, no how, you did not think that Tyron Smith was going to get hurt. Yet the Cowboys made no plans for that, knowing that Tyron Smith's going to go out. Knowing where we were with a bunch of guys, wide receivers in 2018, and you had to make the play to get Amari Cooper to save your season. It's not like that's never happened to us. We've had that happen. But more times than not, the Cowboys get lucky by accident and get saved. They didn't have a plan in place to replace Tony Romo. They drafted Dak thinking, you know, he's going to be a camp body. And it turns out Dak saved their ass. You don't draft a guy in the fourth round as a quarterback and think he's going to be my franchise quarterback. It doesn't happen very often. You got lucky. It wasn't anything you did. In fact, you didn't really want him. And in some regards, I feel like you still don't really want him. Because what's going to happen is now, now that Cooper Rush is out there, they're going to be giving all kinds of help to Cooper Rush to try and help him succeed. You know, they put Dak out there on blast, you know, where you're literally 
throwing the ball 70% of the time with a new offensive line and receivers that are wet behind the ear. When you have a running back out there who was picking up 5.2 yards to carry, it was criminal that you only ran Zeke Elliott twice in the second half. It just was. It's a malpractice. So I want to go through some of these tweets by John Mashota. And it's, it's actually it's kind of crazy when you start listening to him. Cowboys Vice President Stephen Jones on the fine on frustrated fans. We're one game into the season. What comes to my mind is Aaron Rodgers a couple years ago when he said, relax, it's a long season. I certainly understand, and I'm not dismissing their frustrations. We have to be better. Okay. Stephen Jones on Michael Gallup, his right knee, is right on target. He has a chance to play next week against the Giants, and then certainly in week four. These are the same people that told us that he may be ready to start the season. Okay. Players that have been ruled out for Sunday, Terrell Basham, Michael Gallup, J. Ron Curse with the knee, Connor McGovern with an ankle. Jerry Jones, when asked about the Dallas offense not being as effective since the Bronco game. Let's see. After the Denver game, what was our record? Well, if I can get that uh, a replay by knowing our offense, we can come up with the same record. I'll take it. Yeah, well, you had better players even last year after that Denver game and kind of failed. And now you've got... Okay. Mike McCarthy said he spent extra time with the offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore, on the offensive call sheet. In Kellen's time as coordinator, he's been able to play very, very aggressive. We're in a phase right now where we got to be a little smarter in those certain circumstances. You think? Do you think that having a rookie starting left tackle and um, an undrafted free agent having to, to play guard to start for you, um, having receivers that have never caught a touchdown pass, that maybe, maybe you might want to think about running the football to help protect your quarterback? Maybe. Mike McCarthy on Joe Burrow. He's very, very confident quarterback. Negative plays don't affect this guy. He is kind of has a quarterback mentality, playing corner in this league. If you hit with a big play, you're on the next play. I think Joe Burrow definitely has that as a QB. Jerry Jones on angry Cowboy fans. That's you and me. I'd be mad, too. This is the one that really pisses me off. These same fans know I will never sell the team. So basically he's saying, fuck you. That's what he's saying. I'll never sell the team. I don't care if you're frustrated. Jerry Jones about wide receiver CeeDee Lamb. You got to play through being covered. You got to catch those balls. You uh, say, well, that's the trite thing to say, but you couldn't just... Because they doubled you up, make some, not make some plays. Throwing him under the bus. On Cowboys quarterback Cooper Rush, I think Rush is up to the task of winning ball games for us. He certainly had a lot of experience in this offense. He and Kellen Moore have been joined at the hip for a long time. I like who we're lining up with. Jerry Jones. If he actually believes a lot of help is on the way for the Cowboys, of course I believe it. I've done a lot of things. Now I've had them stuck stuck up stuck up my you know what a lot. Now I've had them stuck up my you know what a lot. But I believe a lot of things that worked. Of course I believe it. He's in fairy tale land. Jerry Jones said veteran of offensive tackle Peters isn't ready physically yet, but he's getting there fast. There's no doubt that he has the ability to play swing tackle, and that will give us some options. Mike McCarthy, Cowboys wide receiver Michael Gallup won't play Sunday. Yesterday was his first padded practice since the injury. I think he's in the final stages. He's had soreness today, and it will be great to get him out there for a full week. He looks great. Yeah.
when I was talking to John, I said, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. In a month or so from now, you will have Dak Prescott get back. Michael Gallup and maybe James Washington will be on the field. Some of these rookies will have gotten some time under their belt. Maybe Jason Peters is inserted in the line and it helps the offensive line. And because our schedule gets easier going down the stretch and because we play our division rivals and things, the Cowboys will either get close to being the playoff team and turning it around or become a playoff team where they're going to be good enough that you, you know you get sucked into it and believe that, oh, man, okay, well, we turned this around and that everything's hunky-dory and that the Joneses are great and everything else. And it'll be just enough that we won't do anything to change what we're doing. And I have to say... Don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Yeah, it's, it's sad, to be honest with you. It's sad to think where this proud franchise once was and seeing the dysfunction that it is now. Wow. All right. I'll see you guys tonight. Peace.